Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. What's happening? Just wanted to let you know about this engine I'm working on, what I've just found. Um, not a big deal, but it's kind of good news. And um, so I thought, you know, we'll share some good news. I mean, the bad news you can see is um, it did have blow-by on number one, as in the seat at the injector was leaking. Uh, the other three were okay. It's obviously lacked some oil changes over the time as well. It's a 2005, so the early Hilux, Euro 3 less EGR flow right so there's your hint now what I've just done I've just obviously it was it was quite messy I've cleaned up a lot of parts uh, just preparing to put the injectors in I'm not saying we're done cleaning but um yeah we're not here to rebuild clean the engine either it's a injector replacement job clean a few things that required but what I wanted to say was um, just check the valve clearances and they're really good um, this engine we believe hasn't been opened up before the rocker cover was really hard had the original four little dobs of silicon you know up the front there where they're meant to be that's all there's meant to be on these guys check the other videos if you don't know what i mean you don't need to smear rtv silicon all the way around and try and glue it on these don't leak it's always either the crack cover because you've over tightened it or the wrong procedure tightening it up anyway i just wanted to say the valve clearances were really good right and that is i put the minimum thickness in and it fitted nicely, like it wasn't tight whatsoever. And this is a 315,000 K engine that's had not really good service. You can see by the oil staining and the buildup. Look, we've got a full length video on uh, replacing injectors in the VIP group. It'll be on YouTube, but it's only available with the link. So it's only in the VIP group. So anyway, I'm sorry about that. Maybe at a later date, we'll um, open it up, but it's a bit of a special thing for the guys that, you know, a bit of a loyalty group. So we still give you a lot of information here on YouTube and um, we're going to increase that as time goes by. Um, what I was trying to say is, why do you think the valve clearances are really awesome at 315,000 Ks on a 1KD? And we see this usually, it's what we usually see, but usually the Euro 4s, Euro 5, whatever it is, and you know, they're not as good. The pattern we see is not as good they're usually okay but they're on the tight side you know to the minimum which is okay so why do you think these ones are so good i'll give you a hint you're kind of looking at that pipe in the right hand side of the picture so there's no egr cooler on these vehicles the euro 3 because there's a lot less egr flow as i've said before the the exhaust gas the soot carbon is it's like you know dry and abrasive and that's what we believe is wearing down the engine and the the valve seats which is what closes your valve clearances so as i've said before also we've seen a number of vehicles with the plate fitted the plate with a seven mil hole which which reduces the flow a little or a lot or whatever it still works but it reduces the flow and when we've seen those vehicles back a hundred thousand k's later the valve clearances have not changed so that certainly works really well and the same way the opposite way the catch can thing taking the oil out of the intake and letting all that dry abrasive soot go through without any lubrication not saying it's there, it's, I'm not saying it's the design of the system, but going through wet or with a lot of oil, sort of washing it through, keeping the intake clean and lubricated may work better. That's the results we've seen. There's a lot of people, not just what we've seen, people reporting to us that, um, you know, they're seeing the same thing as well. So there's kind of one person reporting opposite, but I think some people report what suits them, you know. Some businesses, they do just want to sell you things, fuel filters and catch cans and other bolt-on components I'm not trying to sell you any of those sort of things I could easily be part of that and do that it's just what it is okay so the, the wear and tear items here are injectors the dirty intakes are not nice either the dry abrasive carbon is what seems to be wearing the engines and this is an example here 315,000 K's unopened and look those injectors they were flogged they're putting it around about double the amount of fuel they should for longer than they should so he's going to get better fuel economy out of this cleaner emissions out of the tailpipe of course as well and obviously he won't have all that smoke on startup because he had blow by a number one cylinder um, anyway guys just wanted to let you know about that valve clearance I just thought that's a really awesome example it's not like the first time we've seen it it's a pattern with the Euro 3s that again the valve clearances are better than the later ones the more EGR you've got going through there e.g. the newer engines with more exhaust gas recirculation flow and when an engine's newer, it's got less blow-by, there's less oil in there, so there's more chance that more of that dry abrasive soot's going through undetected because it's not caking in your manifold yet. 
then later on as they get a bit more blow by that's when it starts caking up that's probably better than letting it go through your engine but believe me it was still going through your engine from the start and then later on as the engine gets more blow by a bit more oil in the intake it almost pushes it down from the EJR valve start of the intake further down into the manifold and ports where it can cause more problems so it's really not good for your engine long term you really want to but it's, it's up to you how you want to deal with it. Look, I'm not too sure. It's pretty, it's a bit of a sick system, really. You want it there for nitrogen oxides so we don't all get heart attacks, stroke, and cancer. Not that, you know, it's going to stop it anyway because everybody's on the sugar and everything anyway. Let's not go there. That's another story. Um, so, you know, there's the, the, the moral, ethical thing, you know. There's legalities. You've got to decide what you want to do. But well, what I'll say is, Rob Peter to pay Paul, okay? So by having cold filtered air, your engine's gonna run more clean and efficient and have less uh, carbon monoxide and other emissions are all gonna be reduced, which is better for the environment. So you might kill us, but you'll save the environment. So you choose which way you wanna go. If your environment, put the plate in. If you wanna save people, leave it out and just keep running your engine into the ground and caking up your intake. You can put a catch can if you like. Um, it's going to take the oil out. It's not the real problem. Um, it might reduce the build up in the manifold, but what we've seen, if you look at our other videos, two examples of vehicles at 30,000 Ks, one with just the plate, one with just the catch can. The plate worked really well. The EGR valve still alloy and color, and the one with the catch can and no plate starting to build up and quite black. So obviously it's a fact that the catch cans don't work as well. We said early days in theory, people said, well, you know, what if I have both? And we sort of went, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. You'd think, yeah, best of both worlds, but it's been reported back to us that having both isn't working either. So we think the best system is the plate without the catch can. Um, please don't ask me, do I pull my catch can off? It's, you need to make a decision on that. We just give you the information. If you're gonna buy a catch can, pull the catch can off or whatever you're gonna do, that's your final decision. On our vehicles, we don't run catch cans and um, never, brought, sold, or installed one. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you're impressed with this dirty old 2005, 14-year-old Euro 3 1KD that was running quite well, and it's gonna be running even better at the end of this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on the next most important information coming your way.